For people who use wheelchairs, the idea of climbing into a robotic suit that enables them to stand up and walk again seems like science fiction. But a Vancouver company is making it reality. It is one of the world leaders in cutting-edge exoskeletons. And today, we got to see one in action. CTV Shannon Patterson has the story. Chloe Angus is about to do something incredible. Something that didn't seem possible back in 2015 when a bleed from a benign tumor in her spinal cord pinched off the nerves below her waist, leaving the high-flying fashion designer a paraplegic. It was early in my injury that I started to look for an alternative to what my life would look like living in a wheelchair. But she could never have imagined this. <laughs> With the help of a state-of-the-art exoskeleton built by a Vancouver robotics company, Angus is once again able to walk. So our goal was developing wearable suit that enables those people, um, people with motion disabilities, to walk similar to able-bodied people. It feels like freedom, it feels like independence. To be back up and at eye level and participating at my fullest, it feels wonderful, feels like myself again. In this model, the user operates the exoskeleton with a handheld joystick. And turning is as necessary as walking forward. <laughs> and the next generation will be even more high tech. Our future goal is to um, uh, use the brain signal and other um, interfaces for making the communication between the exoskeleton and human more intuitive. For people who've been confined to a wheelchair, it's life-changing. Activities that I just thought I wouldn't be able to do anymore are now in my scope. Dancing again is not far away. <laughs> the day that I see people out on the streets using exoskeletons instead of wheelchairs, having options for their mobility, that will be a great day. And the team at Human in Motion say that day is coming. Early next year, we are going to build 10 to 15 units of these exoskeletons to start our clinical testing and then um, going through the process of regulatory approval and selling the exoskeleton. We will be able to access the world around us independently, and I'm so excited for that. And I do want other wheelchair users to, to know that this is coming, so get excited. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.